recording this? Now I'm recording. It's all good. I think this we read this page last time. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, just to make sure. Yes. You don't hear my laptop making funny noises, do you? I don't, but you probably heard mine. When, okay. when it was making my some laptop of fan is broken, so it occasionally makes very loud, okay. struggling noises. Yeah. Okay. Your okay. your computer uh, has a very good uh, audio exiting out feature. Uh no, it's my microphone. My microphone nice. sen sensitivity is kind of like that. All right. Um. Uh, Mutsuga, right? That part. Yeah. Okay. Mutsuga, uh, odoroite fukai. Uh, Okay, so Mewtwo ga okay. Oh, right So Mewtwo turned around surprised. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, oh, Hiroma. So from the uh, that big room. With, I don't know what, what we call it. What do we call it, that big room? Uh, the hall. The hall. The ballroom. The, hall, the ballroom. I don't know. Okay. Um, th that was smoke, right? I think we covered that. Yes. Before, smoke. Back when, back when, got I guess smoke. I guess started to arise. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yukani, Okina. Okay. Yukani. What? What is that? Yuka, the floor? Oh, Yuka, the floor. Okay, okay. So basically, um, uh, Yuka, ni in the floor, a, a, a big uh, hole. Yes. Tekiteita uh, was like. This was like made, I guess. Made, because that's, that's a strange way, I, I guess. To say it, it is a like, really weird way to put it, but. <laughs> Uh, that's what's going on there's a, there's a weird floor and there's this big hole in the floor now all right I, I don't know why they chose that way to say it uh i know you can use it like what you're talking about the way how like buildings are made or something but kind of weird uh so from there pokemon copies one after another uh began exiting why is Mewtwo surprised? <laughs> uh, I don't know. He, I guess he didn't call for them. That uh, they all start coming out because of Ash. Okay, that is it. true. <laughs> the copy Pokemon. I don't know, but like, why is he so surprised? Did you not was do it, this? Was it just not like Team Rocket that were doing that or doing something? I don't feel like don't Team know. Rocket poked any buttons. Oh, uh, you're probably okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, you know, now, now I'm just confused. Okay, yeah, you know what? Whatever, 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 it don't matter. Mewtwo's just a great actor. He's adding to the theme. He's like, what? I'm shocked. I am so shocked. Where did all these Pokemon come from? Wink. <laughs> oh my God. All right, um, and then just list all the Pokemon. Uh, so many Pokemon. Nado. Nido yeah. Queen, uh, Sando Pan, um, Shawazu? Shawazu, I don't know. Saihon. Storaiku na. Nado. Mewtwo. Boru ni. Suikomareta. Pokemon kara. Tsukurareta kopi tachi wa. Mewtwo no. Moto e. Ayumi yotte da. You know what Ayumi yotte means? No. It means to like meet halfway. Oh. Okay. Okay. So basically, list all the Pokemon. I'm not. I'm not even gonna bother trying to look at what they are. Uh, no, no. Okay. Mutes. Okay. Then it talks about the uh the pokemon the pokemon copies that were made from the pokemon that got sucked into the pokeballs I, I i guess that's what it's saying yep okay and then 
about them, I could say, uh, Mutsu no Motoe. Okay, and then they, I guess they met with the, everyone else that was standing there like halfway. So actually, I just Googled it and, well, it can mean to mean to halfway. Apparently, the second meaning to mean to walk up to and approach. I was like, it's kind of weird. They're meeting halfway and it's, and they go to Mewtwo. Okay, his, so you know, his Pokemon. I was like, the okay. meaning seemed weird. It, it can mean to meet halfway, but apparently it can also mean to step up to or approach. So it has both meanings. Okay. Okay. Or, you okay. know. Hi. Now, right now, we got spoiler alert. Whoops. Where are these not copies come spoiler from? Spoiler alert. Whoops. Saigo ni Gorudak to Pukurin no copy ga detikita ka to mo to. Um, so right when the final little two Pokemon came out, which were uh, Golduck and Wigglytuff, I think, um, even more smoke got, um, sorry, within the smoke, the silhouette of um, a person could be seen. That person was Ash. I am so confused. These are Pokemon copies. Why is Ash in with them? Is this is like the example of like the bad narrator? Hold on. Is it, so is it, wait, is it not saying that, okay, after the last of the copies came out, um, then Ash came out with the other Pokemon? It only says Ash right now. But maybe we'll be seeing that. <laughs> we'll find out soon. Uh, but yeah, your turn to read, Ubi. Oh, okay. Uh, where, wait, actually, where uh, are we? Wait. Yuru Tsunai. Uh, Yuru Tsunai. Uh, um, Omae nan ka Yuru Tsunai. Pretty cool, Yuru Tsunai. I will not forgive. Okay, okay. Oh, that's Ash, definitely. <laughs> okay, uh, Kuchi o ma ichimon jini musubi. Okay, Ketsui shita e shinken na hyojo de Mewtwo ni mukatte masu masugu oh masugu aruite kuru. So, ma ichimonji. Uh, so this is like, um, theoretically it's like a metaphor kind of, but it's almost literal because he's a drawing, but what would be Ichimoji, Monji? What do you think Ichimoji means? Uh, Ichimonji, like, like one character? Yeah, specifically it's the Ichimoji, Kono character. Right, and oh, his kuchi is completely one. The the, the oh, ichimoji. Okay. So his face <laughs> so, is just kind of like. <laughs> it kind of it tends to have a like grimace kanji. kind of meaning, but yeah, it just comes from the mouth is 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 turned into a flat line. <laughs> what what does mouth happen? So it's it, it would be a metaphor if they were real people. But I don't know. They might have just did that. Wait, what track. is the ma? Uh, ma means completely. For example, uh, ma shiro would be totally white. Or makuro means totally black. So ma just means completely. So his mouth is completely a straight line. I think we say flat nice. line in English. And musubi means to tie. So his, his lips have been tied together into a flat line so basically he grimaced or went, mm -hmm. he made yeah, that he's cat just face that happy. He's just that happy. exactly okay so i guess right now it's i guess the scene we're supposed to have in our head is that he's coming up from behind the copies and then yes. like in a bit they'll explain that the they're not actually copies coming. they're not i'm okay now i'm really confused no i'm just i look at the picture I mean, I guess Ash is in front. So why are they talking? Why did they say, mention the copies? Well, I get oh the copies went forward and now they're going toward um Mewtwo. It's just when I looked at this picture, it looks like to me Ash is like in the middle of 
of the fog. He doesn't look like he's in the front of them. Like it would have been better if they had the fog for one of these pictures and then Ash and then show the, the normal Pokemon. So like, I guess the normal Pokemon coming out, but like, I look at this and I'm like, where is the Pokemon? This is too fast. But yeah, what is a Kitsui Shiken Hyojo? What does that mean? You gotta finish your line, Ubi. Oh boy. Kitsui Shiken Hyojo. Mm, yes, words. Uh, let's see. Kitsui. Wait, wait. I, I've seen Kitsui. I, I should know this one. But isn't the E in Kitsui like. Thought or breath or something like that. I don't remember. Uh, the E kind of is more like um, Iken, I would say. That kind of meaning, which kind of, like, like like from Imi. Like, I, know the, I know the first Ketsu is like, or that one's like for the, to decide or something like that. Yes. Or, or Keste, which means like never. Uh, uh, so Ketsu means um, determination or determined. Okay. He has a determined Hyojo. Then Shinken. Oh, oh, this one I remember from a, from a, uh, what's it called? It's either, okay. I, I remember reading this from a light novel. Shinken was either some sort of sword or some sort of like. Uh, well, ten can mean sword. But Shinken doesn't really have the meaning of sword. But if you think about sword discipline, that might be where it comes from. Okay, that's probably it. Because uh, Ken is is from a uh, sword, like absolutely, one hundred percent. That Shin is, is truth, right? Yes, Shinjitsu. Yeah. <laughs> so true sword together means serious. So. All right. His hyojo is very serious and determined. What is hyojo? Probably face. Exactly. Well, specifically, it's face expression. Okay. His facial expression. And what does he do? And Mitsuni Mukate. Okay, so he just faces Mewtwo mm. and Mukate, Mukate Masu. <laughs> Aruku. And walks to him. Yes. Him. So ma sugu could have kanji. We know ma that we saw earlier. And oh, sugu. Yeah. So like like just like immediately straightforward. I don't know. Yes. Straightforward. Immediately. So he goes in a straight line, straight to Mewtwo while walking. So now we're now we're gonna talk about behind him, behind Ash. So from behind Ash, one after another, um, the Pokemon that were captured in the Mewtwo balls also left the hole. Woo! Finally, the world makes sense. And Ubi, when it goes to us. Okay, wait, where? You you get um Sono naka, and you're gonna go like three lines, kind of, till you hit the period. Okay, okay. Uh, sono, okay. Sono naka ni wa eh, rokon ya kodaku mo moite, right? And then kodaku, and then rokon. Like that? Like those three lines? Oh, yeah. all that. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're, you're almost there. Kasumi to Takeshi ga ando no hyojo o ukaberu. What's ukaberu? Um, so when it's when it's used with hyojo, yeah, it's saying basically um, it gets put on the face. Like uh, ukabu means like to float, but like it's hard to use in English. Like it's just like um, for example, if you're smiling, you would say you put a smile on your face. We use the word put in English. Put, put a smile on that. 
face. Put, put a smile on your face. So ukabu in, in this context basically means put. Okay. Or the just just saying the face expression exp- was expressing something, which was ando, and they use ukabu as the verb. So to like, put something yeah, okay, on so the okay. face. So okay, so basically in the middle, in the middle of the all, all of, of the that, community. Uh, the yeah, the uh, Rokon is Vulpix, right? Yes. And uh, Kodaku is Psyduck, right? Totally. Uh, so they were there, and then these exclamations I assume are from Kasumi and Takeshi. I'm gonna assume. Um. Ando, I would assume that's the expression they have on they got on their face. So ando uh, just means relief, but then by connecting it to hyojo and ukabu, it makes it say they made an expression of relief. <laughs> they they looked relieved. They looked relieved. Okay. So, they but relieved. like ando by itself just means relieved. So. <laughs> But really? all together it could be to me yeah i have no idea like it makes sense for kasumi and takashi to be yelling out their pokemon's names when they're looking at it my first thought was the pokemon were yelling their names like <laughs> and, oh, i mean i mean I, I assume it's i assumed it was uh kasumi and takashi because like i think it would have maybe have said like the pokemon Go-go-go-daku. yelled or like yeah was, like they yell the pokemon well, well normally when the pokemon yells they don't say their name they go like Kogodaku or Rorokon or you know like they they repeat not their whole yeah. name like P Pikachu or yeah. Squirt Squirtle, but I feel like um before last time we had Pokemon talking, uh they didn't say he made the noise like we're here uh Niza yeah. Niza, and then you know, but it makes more sense for it to be a uh, Misty and Brock hmm. definitely. So you're definitely correct. But like when I first read that, I was like, okay, Pokemon yelling the names. <laughs> do, do, that's, just how, that's just what they do. Um, Satoshi o sento ni uh, Pokemon tachi wa battle field ni dete kita. So Ash at the Vanguard, the front, I don't know what that's called, Vanguard <laughs> of, of everybody. He um, enters the Pokemon field. Um, so she new to to Pokemon no copy touch to Mukai Ao. And then he um, faces Mewtwo and the Pokemon copies. And Ubi, I'm going to guess you must. All right. Oh, we're in the news page. All right. New page. All right. Oh, my God. Nigashita no ka. Okay. Ore wa ore no. Pokemon Ore no Nakama O Mamoru. The first is Mewtwo and next is Satoshi. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, that that makes sense. So he's saying are you not going to like run away? Uh it, it, it it's a statement. Like more nigashita, right? Well, hmm? Oh, did you not run away? No, no, like so these Pokemon, they were all captured, right? They're in the Mewtwo yeah. balls. Well, they're they're not there anymore. So nigashita. So omae ga nigashita no ka, which is wow. Did you guys escape? I guess, I guess like it's like it's a rhetorical question. Oh, okay. You guys escape. Huh. I think it's like adding like the huh at the end of the sentence. You guys escaped, huh? Which, you know, isn't actually a question like, did you escape? But like kind of have that huh kind of meaning. So yeah, what did Ash say then? He's like, what it was. Uh, and then oh, I didn't know Pokemon, and then I don't know what mm, Nakama. Nakama? You don't know Nakama? Do I know this one? That's like the most common anime watcher word. Everybody goes like One Piece. They're like Nakama. Oh, it's Nakama. Oh, um, so 
an amazing well, that's moment. actually kind of good for you not to know what nakama means because one piece tends to confuse people um right. so nakama kind of means comrades so it doesn't mean friend which is something that some people might be confused about it's mm. like um it's like if you're in a minority group everybody within your minority group is a nakama so like you so it changes depending on context of what like it basically just means comrade but we wouldn't say buddy. comrade your group buddy so it it can be used when you're not friends with somebody but you'll stand with them so you know okay. ash is standing with all the pokemon here who are not the copy pokemon it's basically saying these are my buddies and so you will, are the out group i will protect my my pokemon and my comrades yes but yeah it doesn't it, it can be used not just for like battling comrades so uh like for example um girls might be like we girls stand together you would be like yeah. we're nakama <laughs> would be how that works or you might be like everybody at your place of work are nakama against your employer like your higher ups yeah your employee or whatever so it's, it's just Not the same friends but like you know you got like the same goal same or... goals exactly yeah. so in one piece uh the main character doesn't say he's friends with anybody he says his crewmates who are all in the boat together are all his nakama so people mm -hmm. go like oh it's a deep friendship but it does not mean that that's a that's a special one piece thing because okay it, it, eugene would be a deep friend mm. but yeah nakama just means we're stuck together okay okay <laughs> no, no no i have heard not i think about it, i have heard of nakama it's just been so long so long <laughs> and even then I, I couldn't i couldn't even remember dang <laughs> Oh, yes, I will protect my buddies. Uh, Satoshi wa boshi no tuba o ushiro ni mwasu to nitsu ni mukatte kakidasu. This is how we know Ash is serious. Ash grabs the bill of his hat, moves it over to behind his head, and then he rushes toward Mewtwo. Wah! 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 And Ubi. cry. <laughs> it's just an ora 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 or something. <laughs> yeah, Ubi, your turn. All right. Eh, kobushi yo furi age eh mutsu ni eh naguri kakaro to shita eh shunkan eh mutsu no Mega Hikari Baria de Haji Karita. Okay, I uh, understood some of this. Nice. <laughs> Uriage. What would it's like he, he clenched his fist or something like that? Close. Furu tends to mean like some kind of swinging action. So like, for example, look behind your head. In this case, the swinging action is going upwards. And the thing that's going upwards is his fist. So he raises his fist. So, you know, you do like that punching kind of fist. motion. And while his and... he... So, shunta. Okay, okay. And then that. So... And then the moment he, uh, or the, let's see what's this. So, uh, rotoshita means you're trying to attempt to do the verb, but it doesn't actually happen. Okay. What is naguri? What do you think Ash is trying to do with his fist toward Mewtwo? His fist towards it. Uh, I don't know, punch him. Exactly. Naguri is from Naguru and it means to punch. Dang. So he, he's like preparing to like punch me at you, but at that shoe gun. So the, yeah, at the at that moment, at the moment he's trying to um, uh, punch him, Mutsu no mega his Mutsu's eyes uh, started glowing and he uh, he made it he just Invoked a barrier. Exactly. 
And so the debt is saying like what he does and what does the bar barrier do to Ash? Oh, what's it do to him? The verb hajikareta. Hajikareta. From hajiku, but it's like passive form because the subject oh, is Ash. Like pushed him back? Exactly. Uh, hajikareru. I mean, hajika, yeah, hajikaridu means uh, to repel something. So hmm. he smacks straight into that first field. Uh, Aomuke ni taoreta satoshi wa sugu uh, sama tachi agari uh, futadabi naguri kakaru ga tondo wa hikari ni karame torare. Um, so um, I believe this says that um, the ash that flew backwards and like he very quickly uh, fixes his dirt, like he's not upside down anymore to go back up. So he's like back to his feet. Well, mm -hmm. double check that. Ah, I typed that wrong. So, ah. Oh, move. Yep, facing upwards. So it's saying that he landed on his back with his eyes, you know, upward. He didn't land on his face, which very important to specify that. And then once again, he uh, tries to punch him. However, this time the light karame. <laughs> I'm like, what is karame? Karame. Karame? Karame. Karame. To entangle. So what happened is that I guess the light goes around his body. So rather than just deflecting him with the barrier, um, Mewtwo uh, picks him up with his you know, telekinesis and floats him up in the air. So before he just went to punch the barrier and went Fwah! and he like laid down on his back and he was like, oh no. And he came up to punch again, but this time light goes all around him and he's floating up in the air rather than just being sent backwards. Satoshi, yamero! Kasumi to Takeshi ga sakebu. So those two, uh, Brock and Misty, yell, No, Ash! Stop it, you two! And Ubi. Okay. Uh, Mewtwo ga. Uh... Karukute o furuto Satoshi wa moretsuna ikioite koho ni sobi e tatsu fusha no to e to fukitoba sarita. Oh boy, that's a lot of words I don't know. <laughs> All right, uh, the Mewtwo ga karukute something of his hands. I don't know. Yeah, uh, ka karuku is from karui, which means like light. So the karuku is uh, not modifying the te, which is why it's the ku and not the e, and is mm -hmm. instead modifying the verb, the furu. And what does Fudu mean? Um, to, I think you said. Yeah. To swing last time. Kinda, it's a fish. swing or to shake, any kind of like twisting your muscles in some way, I guess. Hmm. Um, so he does a light flick, is um, probably how I would describe that with Karuku. Since, so he kind of flicks his hand and, or waves his hand lightly. So that makes me think of the word flick. But could just be a wave. Okay. And then. Moretsuna ikioi. Oh boy. What is moretsu? It's like a lot of times it's used up to mean like fired up, kind of, but it's not being used to mean that meaning here. Uh, uh, mo. It like it'd be like the metaphor like of that. Intense. Yeah. Well, iki iki oi 
Iki oide also means like intense. Uh, so in but yeah, so intense, so, intense. So intense intensity. Intense with big spirit. Hoko ni sobietatsu. Koho is. Koho, look at the kanji. Oh, um, that's um, the first one's the uh, the one for ato. It and is. The other one is like a manner or a way. Yes. Like, so like the back? Yes, exactly. The back. So Ashino is facing Mewtwo. And now that's, that's the direction he goes. The whole colony. Hokoni Soviet Tatsu. Soviet? So is it standing? It's a good guess. So um so Soviet Tatsu. Um means uh, uh to tower over the surroundings <laughs> so be it is a is high up high and tatsu means like the stand so mewtwo didn't send him horizontally left he sent him behind in a very upward way and the you'd think this would be describing the fuchsia but since it's a comma here i'm assuming it's because it's it's not. <laughs> Japanese is hard. But yeah, do you know do you remember what a fusha meant? Fusha, let's see. That's wind and that's I guess the same thing as kind of like a car or some sort of transporting machine. Yeah. I'm gonna guess it's like some sort of windmill. Oh it is a windmill. Oh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> and it's a pull, which it just means tower. So <laughs> tower windmill. Eh. A tower windmill. Uh, Fuki toba sareta, which means to be blown away. So Ashman blown away, way up high, towering over everybody toward the windmill towers. So like the thing that would make most sense would be if Sobie Tatsu is describing the fusha and the totsu. It's weird there's a comma there. I, I think maybe commas in Japanese have a little different meaning than in English. Because <laughs> in English that, that would totally change the meaning. I think it's actually not doing anything, I think. Because it doesn't make sense otherwise. Because the, the verb is uh, fukitobasareta which is to be blown away. And the way in which he's blown away is very aggressively in the backward direction toward the tower that's very high up, right? Hmm. Ah! What a manly scream. Uh, <laughs> uh, he's 10 years old. <laughs> uh, Okina Sabon Sabon Dama ga Arawarete Tatoshi no Karada o Uke Tometa. So, uh, right before uh, he crash lands into the wall of the windmill that is um, raising up, Sedi Agata. Why is the windmill? Is it like maybe he's talking about Pacific? I'm like double checking if I know what city I got that means. Mm. To gradually rise. I guess they're talking about the spinny part of the wheel. Because why would the wheel? Because it's, it's, it's describing the windmill mm -hmm. as gradually rising high. So it must be talking about one of the pedals of the windmill. Because mm -hmm. it's not like the it's like the windmill's not growing. I guess like it was grown high to have been gradually risen. 
Anyway, a soap, a huge soap bubble suddenly appears and it catches um, Ash. Nani? What? Mewtwo, uh, Meo Ukagata. And Mewtwo doubts his eyes. And Ubi, can I guess you must? All right. Boyon to Hane Agaru Satoshi no Moto ni. ピンクあ、ピンク色のポケモンが現れた。あ、羽アガル、オリザ。アゲン。スパイク、あ、とジャンプアップ、アパレンティー。うん、イッツメイドアップオブライクザカナライクザカナキックサムシングエンドアップワ
Okay, so this is the sound of the uh, the bubble bursting. Satoshi ga Battlefield no Joho. I guess the um, so is this like the top of the battlefield or kind of like over the battlefield? Oh, like, um, like up in the air above the battlefield. Oh, so up, okay. Ni aru achi? Arch. Oh, that's an arch. Okay. Uh, There's an arch here somewhere. Oh, I see. I see. No, I thought you were just draw drawing a, a funny looking rainbow, but okay, that makes sense now. <laughs> So apparently there's a weird ass arch here in the battlefield. Uh, in the in the, arch, in the no. original anime, there was like a stadium. And then he just fell on top of the arch. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Uh sono hyoshi ni boshi o torete shita no hari ni ochita. Uh that hyoshi <laughs> It took his hat and um, the below pillar fell. Uh, is a hard word, it has so many meanings. Hyoshi. I'm gonna start. Hyoshi. Oops, there we go. Uh, oh, that moment. I always forget that. I always think it's like the musical one, which is like tempo, whatever. So uh, that makes sense. So at that moment, his house, his hat um, was taken and um, Ash, I think, is the one that's falling down the beam and he goes, tit, 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 tit. so no longer does Ash have a hat. And Ubi, what do you guys from us? Okay. Eto... Satoshi got that part, right? Yep. Satoshi ga shiri o sasute iru to boshi o hirota pokemon ga yatte kite satoshi ni boshi o kabuseta. Nice. So basically, Satoshi ga did something with his butt talks. He pats it. He pats you know? it. Uh, then Boshi o Hirota Pokemon. The Hirota Pokemon. The Pokemon. Okay, so, okay, yeah. Does Hirota. Um, what was that again? Uh, to pick up. Okay. So the Pokemon that picked up his, uh, his, uh, hat, hat yeah. I assume, uh, got, uh, yatte kite. Yatte kite? Uh, you can just think of it as kuru, as kite. Oh, okay. Um, it just it came over. Pokemon then, just came over. Yeah, and what hat. did it do? Satoshi ni boshi o kabuseta. Just did it put his hat on him? Yep. That's adorable. Uh, so um, it laughs at Ash as it looked at the Ash who um, is doing Kyoton, which uh, means Kyoton. Who, who has a blank look on his face. So he's dumbfounded. Ash is like, what? Hmm. What? And we go, <laughs> and that is where we'll be stopping for the day. Right Actually, on. At this point, this is where Ash should just pull out his Pokédex and just analyze it. 